Okay. So we did this piece before, and like I said to you before, you want the hair to bunch up a little bit before you sew in the next piece. So you see there's a gap, so when it's time to put it on, your, the wig will stretch. So that little gap, I'm going to leave here so that it bunch, bunches up. And I'm going to take this piece and go into the elastic. And the only thing with this not being a C-curve, it's going to be a little bit harder to bring it up. So this way, I am going to pull it all the way through. Make sure you have a nice little bulb at the end. And you're gonna go back up. So you're going down, and then you're gonna go back up. Make sure the hair is still bunched, the lace is still bunched with that little gap. And hold on to the string with your hand. So you're going to really just reinforce that one point. You're not going to move around too much. You're going to keep this stitch next to this stitch. So you want to really make it a point to stay in the same area. You want to go down. See it? And then you're going to go up. Make sure none of the hairs are in the way. And you're going to do this at this point for at least 10 stitches and make sure it's tight when you're doing it. So you're going to go down and then up. At least 10 times to make sure that it's secure. And I'm not going to show you me doing this whole thing, but I'm going to show you the end result of these stitches. So do 10 at each major point and allow the hair to be bunched up in between so that the elastic will give some. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you my end result of me stitching my wig to make a lace front. When you're done, your 10 or so stitches on each side, you're going to tie a knot. Um, the way I tie my knots when I do it is that I take two of the stitches that or see how this one goes from here to here I take the string and put it between these holes and then I put it between these holes and the loop that's on the outside this loop put it underneath that and that makes a knot So I'm going to do this three times. Go underneath one of your stitches. Go underneath one of your stitches. It's pretty tight, so it's kind of a little bit harder for me to get to it, which is a good thing that it's tight. Take the other loop of the string that's in your hand that the needle go in between it and now you have your knot and stop to form a knot. And make sure that's tight. And this is my last one. After this, I, I'm going to tie a knot. This last knot, I'm going to cut the string and start over. 
see I'm going through the loop and I'm going to knot it at this base it's tight and then I'm going to cut this piece off use the, the string that's left on here I'm going to use and tie another knot and we're going to do the same thing again at another point so you see the gap in between here that's so it can stretch so I'm going to do that for this whole perimeter so each time I do a set of, a set of knots I'm going to have a gap right here so I'm going to put some I'm going to put another stitch right here I'm going to have a gap right here. I'm going to do another stitch right here. And then I'm going to do a gap right here on the lace and do another stitch right here. And then once it's all done, it's going to stretch like this up against flat against your lace wig. See it? All right, so stay tuned and I'm going to show you the results of my stitching. I'm going to show you something real quick that I did before I go to the, the third stitching that I just remembered that I still was going to share. Um, I started on the um, right hand side right here and I added another stitch right there. This would normally be the, the nape to nape measurement, but instead of me continuing on this nape area, I'm going to go with the other side near the ear. So I'm going to do this point next. I use these two clips to hold the the um the elastic down from the lace and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna sew this point right here. So all this part is gathered and bunched up but I'm gonna do this last because I know this is my end point. So start with the end of the elastic pieces. So put a stitching on the first part to where it should end and then you'll be able to fill in the gap later. You understand what I'm saying? If you have any questions, just email me. Okay, I finished my stitching. And here is what it looks like. I did one stitch here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So as you can see, when I use the thinner thread, it looks a little bit thinner compared to the first one I did right here before I switched the needle and the thread. So, I'm going to give you I'm going to show give you another video of me with the the wig actually on to see how um it looks in the back area. And also, if you want, you can add um combs to it. So you can probably add like four combs here, but I normally don't uh like wearing combs in anything because they always end up irritating my scalp. So, and I'm also going to end up dyeing this a, a darker color. I'm going to actually bought some red dyes. I'm going to actually dye this brown. So stay tuned.